Hi guys, I'm Elisa Camacho and welcome to this week's episode, it's episode 20 and this week we are talking about crushes. Now, I am not talking about the KFC delicious crushes, no, I wish. <laughs> We're actually talking about those whole like feelings that we get for people that are in our lives, um, sometimes on a regular basis and other times not so much. And you're like, oh, oh wow. Yeah, I, I feel something is happening. But quite honestly, it can be a daunting feeling, you know, like, ah, oh, you know, I have a crush, but is it a crush? Do I love you? Is this love at first sight? And then when they don't reciprocate, you're kind of just like, hey, I didn't really care that much. It was just a crush, you know? But, ah. We are discussing the phenomena, the phenomenon of what it is to have a crush. Okay, now what do I do with this? Let's talk about crushing those crushes. What the? What the? Crushes are a very peculiar thing and moment in our lives, and we just really? That person? What is going on with you? It's like, oh, oh, you, you, you feel something interesting. How can you trust me when it comes to crushes? Because um, I'm no relationship expert, but let me tell you, I'm an expert in the following areas. Food, movies, third wheeling, and crushes. That's right, people. Because I've been through many of them, right? My high school career was all about crushes. Sometimes I look back and I'm like, damn, Nisia, that was a lot of crushes. Was it necessary to have a crush on all those boys? Was it really necessary? Did it help your self-esteem in any way for them to reject you? No, it didn't, but I had them anyway. And so um, it gives me now the great confidence to now speak to you about my various crushes. Some of them, some of them I felt were necessary to explore further and I somehow felt the courage to go and tell them and um, they all ended in a not so very happy ending. It all was like, oh, you're nice, but, oh, you're great, but some of them, my brain stopped working. So I didn't even need a you're nice, but it was just a no, sorry. <laughs> so this whole thing called a crush, right? What is it? Because it's not a relationship. No, it's normally just a one-sided like stalking of a particular person. You don't mean to stalk in a weird way. This is not you guys. But we do tend to like imagine us like what would it be like? You're so sweet from a distance of like 200 meters. I have a lot of experience when it comes to crushes. I'm like the David Attenborough of crushes. So over the years, I've become well versed in the language of crushes. Uh, sometimes I may not get it if a boy has a crush on me. I'm not saying that I'm good at reading the opposite person giving you crush vibes. I definitely know what it means to give out crush vibes. I was very, very brave. I even had a crush on someone who refused to share the, like, their fries with me. They literally turned the plate away from me. Like, I think he saw me eyeing out those chips from the corner of my eye, and he was like, no, nope, you're not eating my chips. And I was like, damn it. Just when I thought we would be happily ever after, you don't share your chips with me. I can go buy my own chips. Hey. <laughs> so it's technically his last. Uh, recently, though, do I have a crush now on anybody? Off the top of my head, I can think of a few crushes. One happens to be someone who's part of a band that's like internationally famous. Um, and uh, if this ever comes out, which it probably will, because it's going on the internet. I'm oh, sorry, I don't mean to make you feel awkward. I just, you know. But I'm sure a lot of people have a crush on this particular person. So we will just leave it at that. Would any of these crushes result in any particular relationship? I uh, don't think so, unless it's like a miracle takes place. Uh, because... <laughs> Hello. I'm not putting myself down saying that I can't get a crush. Guys, I probably could if I stalk them hard enough, you know, but I'm like trying to be a normal person here. So if these people decide to have a crush on me, um, great. You may be asking me, what is the definition of a crush? You have a couple of them. The first one is that it's a crush where you think you like the person, 
So that means that you kind of know their personality or you've seen them around often enough to develop some sort of affection towards them and uh, you don't know whether it's reciprocated or not because you don't really talk like that, you know, like getting to know them, like in-depth kind of studying. But you do know them to a certain extent where something about them attracts you to them and uh, you kind of want to know more. The second one is someone that you may have an infatuation for. Now, what is an infatuation? Because it sounds like, oh my gosh, like a fat situation. Yes, technically it could be considered a fat situation because you think you like the person, you're attracted to the person, you know nothing about them, and yet you are madly in love with them. That is a problem, my friend, and you should find yourself an exit strategy because those kind of infatuations cause some problems and really, 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 really wind you up because you're like, why would that person love me? Like, oh my gosh, I am enough. I am perfect. I am beautiful. Ah! We've all been there, including you. Even though you say you may have not have been, you have been. Trust me. If you want to admit it to yourself, we'll admit it for you. The third crush is a celebrity crush. We all have those guys. We had them when Zac Efron was Troy Bolton and uh, Jon Snow and um, Captain America, right? Celebrity crushes, they're from afar, they're pretty harmless. So uh, the chances of like hooking up with Captain America is very like slim. Uh, but sometimes you can get like a little like heart palpitations because you're like, they're so beautiful. Oh my gosh. The fourth crush is the crush where you actually do think that like something. You know, and those are the ones where um, relationships sort of like spring up. You're like, oh, you're pretty. And then they'll, they normally, normally this type of crush, they actually reciprocate the feelings, you know, the bar. You, you know, those crushes where you're like, Oh, over the years, yes, you've had a crush on this particular person or someone that you went to school with for a very long time and then like you still, like if you had to see them today, you would probably definitely most likely have a crush on them. You have like a lot of weird like different like crushes. Also like if you go to a particular place and there's a regular person that you know and you kind of know them but you don't really know them and you like have conversation but don't really have conversation because they're really awkward. They're even more awkward than what you are, I think, I believe. I'm going with that one fleeting moments of crushes it's like people you see at like concerts or festivals or like restaurants or guys a crush could literally be on a stranger and then you do everything in your power to just try and like say your name really loudly i am alicia camacho i am 23 i love dogs i eat lots of cake and burgers are my favorite meal. Like I went to go do my driver's license, I went to go renew it, and there was the most handsome man sitting next to me. Like I saw his name, and I made sure you could see my name as well. And uh, he struggled a little with his application paper, and I was like, oh, actually, I think it's this. And then we're sitting down, and I hadn't eaten breakfast, and my stomach was growling and making really obnoxious noises. So at some point, I was like, oh my word, I'm starving. <laughs> starving. <laughs> Thinking, he would be like, do you wanna go grab a coffee? Because that's how movies tell us that happens. And he didn't respond. <laughs> and that is a fleeting crush. Oh my gosh, I am so awkward. You gotta love it. I am truly someone incredibly special. Signs though that you have a crush. Now these are important to identify because they are very much linked to or similar to the same feeling you have when you actually like someone and you could possibly be in a relationship with someone. Butterflies in your tummy, the shutdown of your brain, the feeling of excitement, and the alterations of your moods because you just become super Going back to me and my history with crushes. So I always used to have a lot of crushes and the only time I would let them know that I liked them was when I thought that possibly something could happen. I mean, I thought I was cute enough and uh, funny enough. 
they would always be like, thanks, you're great too. Um, I learned to like not let my crushes know that I had crushes with them. Purely because I was afraid of the reaction, I'll admit that. Like the rejection was just too much to handle. I mean like your whole high school career rejected and then like university rejected and you're just Valentine's Day rejected and you're just like, ah, I love this. I'd tell my friends about my crushes and they would always like have a good giggle because sometimes they were the most ridiculous crushes ever and I'd just be like, well, you know, Selena Gomez, the heart wants what it wants. So is it okay to have crushes? Absolutely. I have plenty of them right now. I have lots of current crushes right now. Some have been long-term crushes. Some not so long-term crushes. Just don't be weird about it. Uh, if there's one thing I've learned is that, yes, be confident. Because apparently male species love confidence. Um, unless it's really just an infatuation, then maybe don't tell them. There is nothing wrong with you. If someone doesn't like you back, Guys, it just means that they're not the right person for you. You will find the lid to your pot. Guaranteed, guys. There is someone who's gonna love your weirdness for the weirdness that it is. Um, and so, uh, while I am on the search for my pot lid, anybody? But now, if you wanted to, uh, and this is an important thing, guys. If you wanna, like, not have the crush on the person anymore. I also have tips for those because I had to do a lot of that. I had to do a lot of decrushing. I had to crush the crush. Guys, because I had so many crushes, I couldn't tell every Tom, Dick and Harry guy that I was like into them. So what I would do is I would find something that put me off that person. Now I know that sounds really, really mean and I'm not meaning like superficially. I would find like the weirdest things ever. I would like, you know, someone's fingernails or fingers would put me off of them because I would look at them and I'd like, I would be like, wait, those are weird. They're weird looking. I also saw someone's butt crack and I was like, nope. I know everybody has a butt crack, but nope, no thanks, you know. Or them picking their nose or dirt under their fingernails or wearing weird clothes or running around barefoot in like weird places. You're just like, where's your shoes, bruh? But it was the only way I could get myself to stop having a crush on this person. Something, one of the things that I also used to, that would help me get over the person, and it was like, doing these things, it happens instantly, you know? In the following minute, you're crush free. I would tell the crush. The one time I told someone, and uh, this was like a really intense moment, I was just like, dude, I just wanna make out with your face, straight up. Told him that, guys. I was like, I'm gonna be bold because this person seems like a bold kind of person. So, you know, let me tell them. And their response was, I know everybody does. So you imagine how I felt. I was like, wow. Well, talk about ripping the band-aid off. And then I was like, that like, if I just tell them, then I'll get over it and then done. Like I would do that a lot, you know? And maybe I was a little weird but it was just also a way to just get it off my chest. I was like, you know what? Sometimes it will happen, and other times it won't, and 99% of the time, actually 100% of the time, that never happened. Because guys, I am exposing myself ugly over here. But um, there was another guy, and he even had a code name, and my friends would use this code name because I just, yo guys, I had a huge crush on this guy for some dumb ass reason, and so we codenamed it and then um but i eventually got over him because of something he did something that just that was like no not doing it no I'm not having a crush on this person anymore that is the end of the episode thank you so much for watching i hope it was entertaining i hope it was enlightening because crushes are interesting topics and uh you know, um, it's very, very fascinating to uh, have a crush on someone. Who will handle this? I don't know. There has to be someone out there in this world who can deal with this. Because I'm a lot. I agree. Remember to follow me on my social media and have a huge crush on my profile. Uh, that was very cheesy and I apologize for that. Just follow me on my Instagram, Alicia Camacho underscore official, and also on my Twitter, Alicia C. 
underscore official. Also, remember to like, share, and subscribe. I'm getting a lot of people are telling me to keep up the good work, and I really, really appreciate it. But also, just remember to do your part and let everybody know about my awesomeness. Remember, you are awesome, you are great, and you are loved. <laughs>